in this show you play your son, and I remember watching you play your parents on stage. Right, 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 right. What the, is it like playing playing your son? It's not I mean, as easy. I, he's old enough now to see the show. Oh yeah, he saw it at the Apollo, and he digs it. He he brought a lot of friends, so I I think he's proud of it, and he's got distance from it now because I mean now that's it's been four years. Yeah, this happened to him when he was eleven and twelve, seventh and eighth grade for two years. So he's got distance from it, and he knows. I think he knows now. He's old enough. Back then, it was hard for him to understand. Here's my dad. Is he making fun of me, or is he celebrating? Yeah. You know I mean, it's hard because yeah. I am cartoonizing him a little bit. You know, what I mean, for people to understand. And you did I'm it with also, your parents, right? And I'm also a grown man trying to play. You know, an 11 year old, 12 year old. It's it's not easy. You know, it doesn't. It's gonna have some certain sense of 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 of, 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 of uh, buffooning. You know, what I mean. Was there a time a when you thing. explained that to him in the context of storytelling? I tried, and... I tried to explain. You're, you're my hero, man. What you went through was really difficult. I would have never been able to survive what you did, and you did it so beautifully and effortlessly. You're my hero in this story. And he so... still goes, that's not the way I talk, Dad. <laughs> I go, a little bit? And he goes, no. 